Hi everybody, you are watching Frontier News. My name is Bartosz and here is Olga. Hi, my, I'm Olga. <laughs> 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 okay, let's go. Today we're gonna have five news for you and we are so happy to share it with you. Yeah, but first tell me please, are you ready for Christmas? <laughs> I'm not ready, but uh, I already started preparation for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And what yeah. kind of preparation? Uh, money? You prepare your money? Yeah, I'm, preparing, I'm saving my money yeah, <laughs> to buy some something on deals. Yeah, And I'm looking for some deals. Uh, yeah. I guess there will be some deals regarding, you know, maybe some cyber items or yeah mm, good idea but I, i'm not prepared to say it really you're not prepared really no, to <laughs> you're waiting for santa claus to come <laughs> to your house and yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's true okay okay that's that's the also the solution yeah <laughs> yeah i believe in miracle <laughs> We are not waiting now for miracles and we are starting our front end news content. Yeah, so the first one is Next.js 13. Another news will be Turbo Pack. The third one is Node.js version 19. Fourth news will be Visual Studio Code new release and updates. The last one is Fall version 3. So jumping to the first news, which is Next.js version 13, it comes up with plenty of new things and we're gonna highlight a few of them. First thing which we're gonna talk about are layouts. Layouts is all about sharing UI between routes while preserving state and avoiding expensive re-renders. The app directory makes it easy to lay out complex interfaces that maintain state across navigations, avoid expensive re-renders and enable advanced routing patterns. You can basically define layouts through the file system. Layouts share UI between multiple pages. On navigation, layouts preserve state, remain interactive and do not re-render. Another thing is uh, streaming. Uh, so also the app directory introduces the ability to progressively render and incrementally stream rendered units of the UI to the client. With streaming, server components and nested layouts in Next.js, we are now able instantly render parts of the page that do not specifically require data and show a loading state for parts of the page that are fetching data. With this approach, uh, the user does not have to wait for the entire page to load uh, before they can start interacting with it. The things which we have also to mention uh, in terms of the new Next.js release are server components. The app directory introduces this support for the new React server components architecture. Uh, with these server components, we can build, build complex interfaces while reducing the amount of JavaScript sent to the client, enabling faster initial page loads. And the last but not least, uh, which we are gonna talk about is data fetch upgrades. So now in the app directory you can fetch data inside layout pages and components and it includes support from streaming responses from the server. The second news is TurboPack. TurboPack is the successor to Webpack and will be the web's next generation bundler. It is high performance bare metal tooling, open source today for uh, all frameworks in the future. TurboPack is built on a new incremental architecture for the fastest possible development experience. On large applications, it shows updates 10 times faster than white and 700 faster than Webpack. On even larger applications, the difference is greater, often 20 times faster than white. TurboPack only bundles the minimum assets required in development, so startup time is extremely fast. On an application with 3000 modules, TurboPack takes 1.8 seconds to boot up, while white takes 11.4 seconds. To start, TurboPack will be used for the Next.js 13 development server. It will power lightning fast HMR and it will support React server components natively, as well as TypeScript, uh, JSX, uh, CSS and more. Third news which we're gonna speak about is Node.js in version 19. 
So we are excited to uh, tell you that Node.js 19 was released. Uh, highlights include the updates of the V8 JavaScript engine to version 10.7 and HTTP, HTTPS 1.1 keep alive enabled by default. Node.js version 19 will replace Node.js version 18 as current release line when Node.js 18 enters long-term supports so LTS later. Uh, what's interesting about it? First thing is Node Watch uh, experimental comment. It's an exciting feature uh, addition uh, to the runtime, which is support for running in watch mode using the watch option. Running in watch mode restarts the process when an important file is being changed. Second thing is HTTP, HTTPS 1.1 keep alive set it by default. Starting with this release, Node.js sets keep alive to true by default. This means that any outgoing HTTP connection will automatically use HTTP 1.1 keep alive. The default keep alive duration is 5 seconds. Enabling keep alive will deliver better performance as connections are used by default. Additionally, the agent is now able to parse the response keep alive which the servers might send. The version of V8 JavaScript engine is updated to version 10.7, which is part of the Chromium 107. This version includes a new feature to the JavaScript API, ENTL number format. And now it's time for Visual Studio Code new releases and updates. Visual Studio Code comes up with October release and there are many updates in this version that we hope you will like. Some of the key highlights include those. First one is search include and exclude for the folders. You can quickly set folders to include or exclude in the three view. The second one is common center mode shortcuts. This feature displays commonly used modes before recent files list. Third one is merge editor improvements. It enables user to access combinations options to auto merge conflicts. Then we can also talk about markdown automatic link updates. File and image links are updated on rename and move thanks to this feature. The next thing is more audio cues. That means that when task is completed or failed, there is quick fix available in the terminal. Next thing is VS Code point dev protected branch workflow. You can create new branch when committing to protected branch. We also have new Python extensions, uh, new standalone extensions for iSort, Pylint and Flag 8. And the last uh, thing from this news is dev container templates. You can now create new dev containers based on existing templates. And the last but not least about our news is Foal version 3.0. For those who doesn't know, Foal is a full featured TypeScript based Node.js framework. The version 3 comes up with the new features and upgrades and we're gonna make a quick overview over some of them. First thing is the full support of Type ORM version 0.3. Type ORM is the default ORM used in all new projects, but basically as a user you can use any other ORM or QRE builder if you want, as the core framework is ORM independent. Type ORM version 0.3 provides greater typing safety and this is something that will be really appreciated when moving to the new version of Fold. So we have used sessions and JWT required authentication hooks called functions uh, such as fetch user, fetch user with pair missions to uh, populate the uh, context user property. The next update is about file upload. Uh, so previously when uploading uh, files in a multi-part form data request, it was not allowed to pass optional fields. This is now possible. The interface for the validate multi-part form data body hook uh, is now renamed to a parse and validate files to be more understandable for people who don't know the HTTP protocol naming and handling the uploads has been really simplified. And last but not least, we have now better typing. It means that the use of TypeScript types has been improved and some parts of the framework ensure better type safety. And that's all news for today. Yeah, unfortunately, that's it. You can watch other videos on our channel and check frontendhouse.com and maybe our open positions if you're interested. If you're not, you can check also <laughs> yeah and please also check all of the links of our news which are linked below yeah see you next time thank you and bye bye